Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how the dog run should be cleaned. Um, I'm going to start with just this first run here. Uh, normally what I suggest doing is doing, um, putting all the dogs outside, cleaning all of the inside runs first, and then putting all the dogs inside by shutting the doors and cleaning all of the outside runs then. Um, but I'm just going to go through the whole process with one run so you guys can see exactly how I want this done. Um, so not all the doors work right now. We are getting them fixed once they are fixed. Um, the door is shut by this cord right here. Hi, crunchy pants. Come here. So um, I'm going to shut them outside by sliding the door down. If I can get this one to go down, it might not. It's not going to. Okay, this door's not going to go down. So what I'm going to do to keep them out for now is I'm just going to flip the bed up because I should wash this anyway. So um, I'm going to pick up the blankets and these are going to go in the laundry. There are laundry baskets on wheels that you can wheel in here and put all the laundry in. I want to remove any toys out of the run. If they're soft, they can be washed if they're dirty. These, um, these don't smell and they're not soiled, so we're going to put these back in. So I'm just going to set them off to the side to put back in the pen. Um, I'm going to dump the water. The food you can save, that doesn't need dumped. But I am going to remove all of the bowls from the pen. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep this really quick. I'm going to sweep the leaves and any extra food, stuffing. Um, if they've shredded a blanket, anything like that, I'm going to sweep all that up. Because the more stuff you rinse down the drain, the easier it is to clog it. So there are brooms and dustpans over here. Everything has a place, so please put it back when you're done. Helps keep everything nice and clean. I'm just going to sweep. It doesn't have to be like super clean. It's just a quick sweep. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get some of this stuff out so it doesn't get stuck in the drain. And that will go in the trash. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the run. So I'm going to hose down the run. So hoses should be turned off at the end of every day. So the hose will be off when I pull it off of here. To turn it on, you just turn these. One is hot and one is cold. Um, I can't remember which is which off the top of my head, but you should be able to tell by feeling these, which one's hot and cold. Um, so I just open those up. I use both when I clean, not just one or the other. So I'm going to rinse the run down, including the mole. If it's a big dog, you want to make sure that you get up as high as they can jump. Because if they step in their poop and they put it on the wall, that's obviously gross. I'm going to wash the dog door. Because if that's up or down, obviously they can make a mess on the dog door. And all I'm doing right now is just a quick rinse down. Um, and I want to wash the top of that bed too, so we'll get there in a minute. So once I've rinsed this down, the next thing I'm going to do is apply rescue. Now one of the reasons we swept and rinsed down first is because rescue will not work if there's organic material in there. So rescues in the, are in these sprayers. And this should already be mixed, but if not, you can mix more. 
and there is a video also on how to mix rescue. Um, these pumps should be already um, depressurized, and so you do that by pulling up on this. That lets the pressure out, um, and then you turn this and then you pump, and that puts the pressure back into it. So you want to pump until it gets hard to pump, and then you're just going to spray the run down, including the walls. You can adjust the sprayer by turning this if you need to, make it um, harder or softer. This is just hydrogen peroxide, so it won't hurt you if you get it on yourself, so don't freak out if you get a little bit on you, it's not going to stain your clothes. Won't hurt the dogs if it gets on the dogs at all. So I'm going to coat everything. When I'm done using it, I'm going to depressurize it. That helps keep these um, pumps from going bad. And then I can, what I can do normally when I'm doing all of the runs, I would go down through, I would wash every run, go down through rescue every run. While that rescue's sitting, I'm going to add a little bit of Dawn dish soap and I'm going to scrub the runs. And so I'll scrub, 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 scrub all the way down through and then rinse all the way down through. So I know I'm only doing one, but normally I would do the whole kettle. So there's a little bit of Dawn dish soap. A little bit goes a long way, you don't need a ton. just a little swirl in there and the soap all it does is if there's anything that's like stuck on the rescue doesn't do a good job of like peeling stuff off the floor um, but the rescue disinfects with the Dawn, Dawn dish soap more clean and then I'm gonna scrub the run including the walls. And then I'm going to scrub the front of this bed. So all I'm going to do is flip it around. I'm going to keep them out still. No, 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 stay. Now, obviously, this wouldn't normally happen because the door would be down. It's like, I promise they're getting fixed. Um. Hey. <laughs> the good news is, is it's just Don dish soap and it's just rescue. So my camera woman's going to hold him. <laughs> I don't want to scrub these beds because they do get on them, they do pee on them. I'm going to scrub the bed down. And now ideally, rescue should sit for five minutes to disinfect. So um, that's why it's nice to start here and then kind of go down through. So that way it can disinfect properly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wash this for the sake of time. I'm going to start on the top of the walls and rinse down.
And I'm gonna make sure that I get all of the soap and the rescue out of the run that I can. It's helpful wear boots and not tennis shoes when you do this because your feet will get wet. And then the last thing I want to do once I've rinsed the run down is I want to pick up the drain and I want to rinse out the drain. And by rinsing out the drain, that pushes this, any soiled water or any material that's in the drain into the next run, and then you'll rinse the next run out and the next run out and the next run out, and then it all ends up at the end. So then everything's pretty clean in here. Our concrete is brand new, and it slopes and drains really, really nice. So that makes things easier. But the last thing we'll do is squeegee. So I'm going to pick a squeegee. There's some of these that work better than others. And if there's any water or anything, it's not going to hurt them, but I'm just going to squeegee this to the drain. and wipe off the bed so that they can get back on it. That's good. So this is all good now. This runs clean. Um, you want to wash the dishes in here or take them out and replace them with new um, if they're dirty. Please be careful with the concrete bowls. Don't drop them. They will break. So this water dish was dirty, so I'm going to wash it. food dish and there was like wet stuck on food you want to make sure you scrub it really well so there's no longer food on it rinse the soap out and then I can fill it back up with water I find it easiest to fill up a bucket or a pitcher to do water which is trying to carry all these dishes give him his measured amount of food that I would find here on his board and it's also on this whiteboard here um, so I put his one cup total of food because this is for both dogs and he's ready to go so we can put him back and we'll go clean the outside next you can pause that okay so now on the outside same thing I want to shut the dogs in um, but the first thing I would want to do is come through all of the pens and just scoop all the poop out. It's easiest to do this all at once in one fell swoop. When there's multiple of you working together, you can split the jobs up. Somebody can scoop poop while somebody's starting um, If it's scraped on, I want to try to get off as much as I can. The little paint scrapers that are in there work great for stuff that's really stuck on. Um, I'm just going to go down to this last run where we're working. If you want, if the dogs are friendly, they can come out and play in this gravel area while you're cleaning. So I'm getting poop picked up. That's all of the poop. Um, and I will just set this off to the side. When this is full, it will go in the kennel trash can. And that kennel trash needs taken out the, at the end of every shift. 
got a little toy here. It doesn't smell like pee, so we'll put that back in when we're done because it's clean. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hose this down just like I did the inside. Go to the end, I think you need the entire hose, so. Look out, Crunch! Look out! So then I'm just gonna hose this down. And I find it easiest sometimes to hose into the next run, so I usually start at one end and work my way down. This run here happens to be empty. You guys can see that's well rinsed and now we're going to repeat the same thing i'm going to apply rescue and a little bit of soap and we're going to scrub Nobody in this run next door, so I'm just kind of rinsing it. Again, if the dogs get in this, it's not going to hurt them. And then I rinse.
So you can see how if you do this in a systematic order, so I've started in this run, that run I've already basically rinsed out and I would just keep moving down, it makes your job a lot easier because then the runs are already all wet, they're already all scrubbed, and then all you gotta do is shut the runs, make sure everything's back in, so a little toy can go back in. You don't need to squeegee the outside runs, they'll dry. Um, unless, you, unless it's really cold out, we squeeze them and try to keep some of the ice off of them. Um, but the only time you don't have to wash these outside runs is if they're not soiled. So if they didn't poop or pee out here, you wouldn't have to wash them. However, the in, inside ones should be washed at least once a day. Sometimes if you have housebroke dogs, they won't pee or poop in their run. So you don't necessarily need to wash it every day. But there's hair builds up in them, um, and that's gross. And so we want to make sure they stay nice and clean. You wouldn't not sweep your carpets every week. So um, make sure that you're rinsing the runs well. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. But otherwise, when I'm done, I'm going to put everything that I got out of way, make sure all my hoses are off, make sure that I let all the pressure out of my rescue, uh, make sure everything's put back nice and neat, so that way it's ready to go for the next person.